guys in today's video we're going to be doing this look it's like inspired by my dog bite i just you can just use this as a reference for like any kind of cuts so let's just get right into it i'm using this natural latex liquid latex from walmart it was like two dollars and 68 cents does not irritate my skin nothing like that i'm using the sponge that i came with and it actually worked pretty good it's like actually kind of one of my favorites because it does dry down to like really really clear so you're not gonna see it on your skin and we're just gonna layer that up until i get the right amount i probably layered it up about five or six times and let it dry in between every single layer and then i'm just gonna add some more with a little brush that it came with Okay, now we're going to use the Norvina Volume 1 and go in with these shades right here and create some bruising. And just basically, I just dipped into them randomly and just layered them up until I liked what it looked like. So definitely just watch this part and just use a reference photo of like actual bruising and like cuts to do this because that really helped me out as well. And I also dipped into the Norvinum Volume 2 and used the shades that are right, you know, right here. So, um, that's what I basically did just to give it more bruising, a little more, bit more purples and blues, just to make it look really, really... Honestly, it looks really real. It was, like, crazy how good it came out. I just tapped and tapped and tapped for about 30 minutes and just placed color everywhere. Okay, now we're going to create some veining with this Mehron Paradise Paints palette. I got this from Amazon for about 23 bucks, and I'm using a Subu Booty Brush I listed down below. And we're just going to, you know, create some veins just really lightly and just let it feather out and just do however you want to. It's no really technique to it. I just tried my best to make it look like veins. And by the way, this makeup look is going to be on my channel soon, so definitely keep a wait for that without all the gory stuff. I'm just trying to get this up for Halloween. So this halo and this lip and everything and the skin is going to be on my channel real soon. And please be careful with this um, part. Just cut open some cuts. And now we're going to take this fake blood from Walmart. It smells absolutely disgusting. And we're going to take it on a Q-tip and we are going to place it inside of the scars and let it drip down our face. I try to let it drip a, a little bit, not too much because I didn't want it to be like too all over the place and like start to get messy. So yeah, I suggest not to smell it. It does dry down though. It does dry down eventually, but it's, you just got to manipulate it a little bit. And here's the finished look, you guys. Like I said, this really like was like actually 
kind of hard for me because this was inspired by my dog bites even though i don't have on my cheek it's on my eye but didn't want to put that stuff in my eye so yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in my next video come back subscribe come on you know you want to love you